name's Stuart Stone. I'm with Heartland Livestock and Nielsen Brothers. And uh, I'm the director of uh, Livestock Markets in Saskatchewan. Just want to welcome everybody here to, to Moose Jaw. On behalf of uh, Grant Barnett, our manager here. And uh, yeah. the Tyler's up there somewhere. And Jared and, and Judy and the others. Uh, this Moose Jaw, for your information, is the oldest continuously running stockyard in the country. I think it's pretty close to 100 years old now. Uh, not necessarily the facilities, but the stockyard's been running for that long. Anyway, um, check my notes here. Um, so today we're collaborating with the uh, Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture to present uh, this traceability and hand cattle handling seminar. Uh, for those of you that are familiar, uh, you, we've had uh, traceability being implemented for a number of years now, and they've been working on it since about 2001. But uh, uh, we're moving forward to it. Uh, our federal government, through the Ministry of Agriculture and CFIA are uh, very committed to implementing traceability. It uh, got the whole initiative got accelerated a little bit in 2003 with BSC um, to uh, an attempt to try to open up some markets, and I think that that's been um, the main push on this whole traceability thing. But I think really. We need to think about it a little different way. I think it can, uh, we can retain some markets with it, and we can provide uh, a little bit more assurance of food safety, because certainly in the urban world, uh, food safety is, uh, is a huge issue to them. And, uh, and there's some other opportunities that come with traceability as well. The funding for this, uh, uh, this seminar today uh, comes through uh, the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture, and that's through the uh, federal government's uh, uh, Agriculture and Agriculture with Canada Growing Forward Agreement. So our training fo focuses on uh, sort of the three pillars of traceability today. One is animal identification, the other is uh, premise identification, and then animal movement. So we have speakers this morning from uh, CFIA, which I will introduce in a minute, and CCIA. And then after lunch, Kurt Bates is going to do a, uh, he's a, a stockmanship expert from Montana, and he's going to do a demonstration of low-stress handling techniques for auction markets. Some of you may have seen Kurt last uh, March, was it? No, March, February, March, in Saskatoon. Uh, but there's really some good, good things to learn from him in moving animals. Our first speaker is Pat Bouchard from CFIA, and he's the Animal ID Program Supervisor for the Saskatchewan region. And Pat tells me he's relatively new to this portfolio, but uh, he's on a steep and fast learning curve. So, uh, so he will get there. CFIA is responsible for developing and enforcing insuring regulations related to the safeguarding of, of food, animal, and plants. So uh, many of us are familiar with, with them in, in the markets um, um, as they, they've been doing the enforcement of, of the, uh, the button tags in the year, making sure that they're in there. Uh, those of you that have worked or work in plants understand that they're, you know, they're responsible for the enforcement of, of um, food safety in the plants and actually all the way up and down the line. And, uh, and so they're an integral part of, of the industry uh, on a day-to-day -day basis for all of us. Uh, so Pat's going to provide some insights from a growing forward agreement and, uh, and some of the long-term implications for the auction markets. So, so a little background on Pat, he's worked for CFIA for 16 years, primarily in the meat hygiene program as a supervisor in the inspection staff uh, 
uh, at the XLB slaughter plant here in Musha. Uh, he recently assumed his duties, as I mentioned earlier, on actually June 21st, so he's got about two months in the saddle. So. <laughs> anyway, Pat, I'll turn it over to you and, uh, and we'll go from there. Um, our outline today is introduction and key drivers, roles and responsibilities, current frameworks, current requirements for auction marts, key gaps in the current frameworks, addressing gaps, new traceability framework, envision role of the auction marts, considerations and next steps, and there's an attachment, the Health, and, health, sorry, health and animal regulations pertaining to auction marts. The, I'm not going to go through them line by line, they're legal, but I will, I have identified which ones pertain particular to auction marts. Um, what is traceability? Traceability refers to the ability to follow the movement of food or an animal in this case through specified stages of production, processing, and distribution. That's the OIE is the World Organization for Animal Health. Three pillars of traceability are animal ID, premise ID, and movement reporting. Key drivers for traceability, animal health and disease control, Reduce costs in managing disease outbreaks regarding quarantine. Quarant quarantine times won't change, but the number of animals affected might. Uh, protection of the resource base. Emergency management, prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery. Protection of public health. Reducing impacts of zoonotics, animals transmissible to humans. Enhanced food safety. Market access and international competitiveness contribute to maintaining existing markets and regaining lost markets in the event of a disease outbreak. BSC, ability to trace and control in a quick and timely manner. Long-term sustainability of Canadian agricultural industry, management efficiencies on the farm, enhanced animal welfare, and fair practices in food trade. Traceability roles and responsibilities. CFIA is responsible for developing, enforcing, and ensuring compliance with legislation, legislative and regulatory framework. Tool used currently is the Administrative Monetary Penalties Act. AFC, which is Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, responsible for the development of traceability policies and funding support. Canadian Cattle Identification Agencies, or CCIA, the national administrator, responsible for the national data database, tag distribution, and producer communications in all provinces except Quebec. ATQ, responsible for the provincial database tag distribution and producer communications only in the province of Quebec. Provinces are responsible for developing provincial policies and regulatory frameworks and identification and verification of premises. Industry groups responsible for developing policy for the sector and work with the governments and industry members to implement programs. Current provincial traceability frameworks. Uh, Quebec, adoption of mandatory traceability regulations and creations of ATQ to manage the provincial traceability program. Alberta, adoption of man mandatory traceability regulations. In Ontario, creation of on trace voluntary premise ID system. Other provinces and territories Voluntary premises ID systems with potential for provincial traceability legislation and regulations in some cases. Examples are Ontario and Manitoba. Uh, 